A sequence diagram is a model uh, the interaction between the objects. Uh, in the simply, it shows us uh, interaction between objects uh, in a sequential order. So what we see is uh, uh, the interaction between user, device, and database. Um, we open application, we access menu, and device give us the information. We get inform <clears throat> uh, then we detect information and the database retrieving it, giving us info back and displays uh, the information. Uh, classes. Um, for classes, uh, so in the beginning of every um, project, we are creating classes and classes are objects. In our example, object is a bank. Um, and the bank has employees and customers account and accounts. So for each uh, for each uh, uh, object, we create classes as well. And employee um, has uh, employee is full time employee and a part time employee. It means uh, the inheritance. Uh, the inheritance we uh, show um, by saying extent, uh, word extent, so we actually show the parent. The parent for full-time employee is employee. For for example, for business customer and individual customer, the parent is going to be the customer. And for checking account, savings account, and fixed deposit, the parent is going to be uh, account. So the, uh, the connection is inherited. I'll be explaining Barbie. I'll be explaining how we executed the program. So we, uh, we created the program and we captured the program in both CSV files and text files. So this is the output that we got as per our requirement. We created a bank, one, one bank data, and we created two contractors and one full-time employee list, and we created two in individual customers and two business customers. And we also, we, we display two savings accounts, two checkings accounts, and one fixed deposit accounts. And this is the program that we created. We created all the classes. You can see the classes that we created. This is the output of the classes. And this is the output for and also we have another requirement to search the employee by ID. Here, if you see, if you enter the employee ID number here, you can see, you can get the details of the employee. And if you search the customer by ID, you will get the, in all the details of the customers from that ID. And also we test the, the test of a program using test ng, we tested all the classes like bank, accounts, customers, and employees. As you can see, all our test cases have been passed. And I would like to show the program. One second, please.
program that we created. So we created the account class, the bank class, customer class, and employee class. So if we created the program to do the following operations like add bank to view bank, add employees, view employees, add customer, search customer. For that, we used do while do while logic for the users to enter the to show the to print the options so that the users can choose. For that, we use the scanner to get the user input. And we used so and again we use the switch cases to execute the program that is to execute the choice that the user selected. If the, if the user selects to add program, if the user types one and the case one executes. So we'll get we'll get the for to add the M to add the bank, we have bank code and we'll ask the user to enter the bank code and bank name. And using the scanner, the user, if the user enters the value, the program starts executing. So we created the method separately for each program and we are calling the methods in the main program. So this is the method that we created for add bank. So we'll, we want to write, the, we, we are calling the method write. So calling the method for adding the bank, we need to write the file. We need file writer and buffer writer. So we are creating the object for the buffer file writer and we are passing the object to the buffer writer. And from the buffer write and the object of the buffer writer, we are calling the write method and to get the bank code and bank name. And we are closing the file. And the, as a result, we, we can see the file when the user enters, it, 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 it automatically writes in the file. And so we did the same with everything for view bank, for add bank. We created the method separately and we called the method in using the main, main method. And we executed the test. We tested the program using test ng. We tested, for example, we tested the bank class by providing the hard coded value. We provided this hard coded value and this with this with the help of this with the help of assert and we call the method assert and we passed these hard coded values to the constructor and we, we executed the test to compare the actual versus expected and our test passed. One second. My team member Irina will explain the challenges that we faced. Oh, thank you for listening. Um, and learning the challenges. Um, it was a really hard project. It took a long time, many hours sitting on Zoom meetings, sharing code, figuring out, doing YouTube research, long time. It finally came together with a lot of help from YouTube videos and Googling. Um, what was hard? Uh, creating methods, connecting everything, extending all the classes. I had to review programs so many times. Uh, we shared the uh, code through Google Docs. <laughs> there was a lot of copy paste, copy paste, but it all came out together. We had to watch a couple of videos to test the classes. Also, um, me and Barty, we uh, worked on a program. Uh, Nora tested everything, and she also helped with creating diagrams. So it was uh, challenging because she lives uh, in California. Time changed. We had to meet late at night, but we still did it, and it came out pretty good. So. Thank you everyone for hard work. Yeah, good job. Good job, guys. The question is how your team could figure it out the test part because we did recently, right? Your team is the only one I saw that we did a test thing, right? Was it hard? Maybe Nora, you can answer if you have done that. Was it hard to add a test cases? 
Uh, it wasn't really because uh, you explained us all the main ideas and uh, with all we all I just used as a logic that was inside and <laughs> but uh, mostly I, w I would be honest I copy paste some uh, main parts but I I made uh, the logic that I used is for like for the bank uh, I used different one so um, yeah it wasn't too it wasn't too hard mm -hmm. as a QA right uh, most of you will be doing unit testing right and Good news about it, the file saving, you have done a test cases and you have done a logic also. So now question is, what make you different compared to three groups, right? You somehow did check, check, check. You have a file writer, you have a code coverage and all. Singular time was given, right? What worked better for you or your group? Focused on the requirements. Mm -hmm. so we want to do it. I want to know how to do this. Mm -hmm. I do it for me. So we worked mm -hmm. on the requirements. We started from mm -hmm. the requirements, mm -hmm. what the what mm -hmm. people asked, and we started with that mm -hmm. and we built day by day. So how did you add extra day or hours in your life? Because it was given to everyone same time frame, but it seems like you had extra one day or one hour added in your life. How did you come up with those time management? I think we I think we were just uh, working partially like the part uh, as uh, Irina said the mostly they were coding the program but uh, I was doing the same from my side but then uh, we kind of said like okay you do this you do this and you do this and then like we do it uh, on the time that we have uh, in our lives and then uh, we just meet for a zoom meeting and bring everything what we done together and explain each other how we did that step by step uh, yeah the only part that we are missing is a, a, rep a report uh, which I couldn't do because of the, uh, I think, because of the Maven um, update. But I hope that we'll create a report for that. We also found a, ba a bug. Yeah, it's also was.